guys this is Tina welcome back to my channel so just here to work again on our junk journal that is a bit similar to my junk journal that I made for my holiday journal sorry I've just got this piece of paper here um so the last page that we worked on we did this belly band piece that we attached a little flap onto and we glued down another piece from the golden book that we were going to use as another belly band so I've just got that here and I'm just going to now cut that down ready for using and if you watch the last episode we left this torn sort of effect going down the edge I thought that was really rather nice so I'm going to try and keep that because I you know I like the look of that so I'm just going to pop that there and then just going to see what other bits and pieces we might like to have. I also dug out these little blue flowers, which, again, this was one of those mulberry paper flowers. And you've probably all seen me do this before, but I just like to peel them apart. No doubt I'm not going to make a very good job of doing this one, but hopefully peel them apart and then you can use them as a much flatter flower rather than the big paper mulberry flower that they are originally when you buy them. Not that I don't like those but obviously they're better for your mini albums and things like that rather than the junk journals. So I just pull this pull that out. So now I've got a flat flower rather than that big mulberry paper flower so that's all that that is and I just thought that was really nice because obviously the fabric that we have been using this fabric here has got that blue in it so I just thought it picked up the blue really nicely from there so that's all that I'm you know working with at the moment just having a play around obviously last time we had this gorgeous little um journaling spots here so I'm going to just I think stick that on so let's get sticking straight away rather than waste too much time just going to pop that down okay and I want it to appear as though it's just poking out from behind the the belly band so we'll just pop that on like that okay okay press that down and then the belly band itself we'll just pop that over there so it's quite close to the edge of the page and actually I'm going to glue this one down like a pocket really rather than a belly band so I'll just pop that in there okay I mean these images in these golden books they're just so gorgeous aren't they that to be honest it would be hard to not make a nice job of of your page because how could anyone take these gorgeous colorful images and not then love how they look they just look so good don't they so there's that one and it's a bit curled up from where it's been glued onto the book page so I'm just going to take my bulldog clips just to hold that glued down I'll just take one here like that and I'll just clasp it like that okay right so loving how that looks and then we've got obviously let's click that back up there some bits here now also laying around my desk I've got this really pretty gingham ribbon I love gingham just think it's so pretty so we could maybe just have a little bit of gingham there as well so I think what I'll do is I'm just going to glue this down here flat to the edge of the page I'm just checking how 
how I've been doing things because I don't want to have everything the same. So I just wanted to check whether I've mainly ruffled or whether I've mainly had it flat. So I'm just going to glue that down like that. Okay. So I'll just pop that down there. And then again, I'm just going to try and just tear that slightly. So as I've got it quite rough on there. Oops. Just getting stuck now everywhere. And then what we could do is staple this in a bit of a folded ruffle. So maybe even a roughy, roughy? Uh, you know, ruffled, ruffly. <laughs> Ruff <blah. laughs> I can't talk. A ruffled. Oh, don't tell me. No, I've run out of staples. I can't run out of staples because I just put them in the other day, didn't I? Right. Okay. Oh, gosh. Fingers and thumbs again. No, that doesn't want to staple. Hold on. Right. Not sure what was going on there. Let's try again. Oh, a staple did come out staple did come out it was just not feeling like it was coming out at all that must be where I was stapling onto the fabric I think so just staple there oh, that's better at least it sounded like it <laughs> it sounded like it but it's done absolutely nothing at all so let me just undo these let's get rid of those and we'll start again with the stapling process Right, there we go, one, and then we're going to just have another one here, oops, I'm struggling a lot to um, gather this up in any sort of format, I mean I'm not trying to make it look neat or anything like that, but I'm struggling to uh, gather it up at all, so right, let's see how that looks okay so we could have it something like that maybe we'll have another gather in it I mean strangely enough I had actually done it to go this way really running down so I think what I'm going to do is just gather it once more here oops peace at last. I sent my husband and my daughter out to go and get some broccoli for our dinner. So I now have a bit of peace and quiet to be able to um, concentrate fully on the video. Sometimes very distracting when you can hear noise isn't it going on around you. So it was nice, nice to have some peace. Right. Okay, so I'm just popping that on there, just stick that down. It's just a fun element, you know, there's nothing, um, no purpose for having it there, but it just looks fun, doesn't it? So that's that one, and then what I'm going to do is just staple this flower, actually, just before I staple that, I'm going to then see if I've got anything like these and obviously I've not made a very good job of stamping these on this but I don't think it really matters so I'm just going to cut around that like that okay and then I'm just going to staple that like that now I want it like that or coming out underneath Oh, that's fun, isn't it? Yeah. So we'll staple that like that. So you can not really see much of that, but it's just enough to look pretty. So again, if you're worried about it being held, just pop some glue on there as well. So and hopefully then that's properly held into place. 
so that's that now I have got some other scraps here today because of some other things that I've been making so just going to cut this down like that and then you know this is just scrapbook paper so I'm just going to leave that completely as it is on the back because obviously I haven't really gone for a coffee dyed vintagey theme here or anything like that so I'm just going to round the edges and then as luck would have it we've got some of the food pieces here from the front page so I'm just going to cut around here now this one as you can see is missing some from where we tore the image on the other side but that's fine because we can cover that up so I'm going to cut around there and then let's have a look and see what we've got so again so I might take here something orange maybe this ticket used an orange piece somewhere else in here and I can't remember what it said ah may all your dreams come true it wasn't orange it was pink so here I could just do dream a little dream which is this little stamped piece I think these are um, crafty individuals stamps I think again I would have to double check that but I'm pretty sure that they are and they're just perfect these little sentiments so we could just have that there so I'm just going to glue that down like that and then we're just going to glue this one just there on the top Okay, so that looks good. Just going to undo these now. Hopefully this is now nicely glued down. Oops, just getting rid of my bulldog clips so they're out of the way and not, not getting in the way at all. Okay, and that's just going to slot in just there. So really super cute and very easy, easy, easy page. Um, I also do have this ribbon now. Did I want this anywhere? I wonder whether we should have this as a little tab. Again, I mean, this just was in my drawer, so I'm just thinking colour wise, this is really nice and bright and cheery. So it may be nice to just incorporate this somewhere. So I think I'm just going to pop that on there and then just again staple that. Oops, staple that into, hmm, she says, oh, come on, I hope that I'm in frame and you can't all just not even see what I'm doing, hold on a moment, come on, okay, so that's just stapled on there, and again, if you're not trusting the staples, oops, just add a little dot of glue, as well as the staple. I mean the staple should hold it but you know just if you're a little bit worried then just a little staple will just be perfect there. I mean how cute is that page? I just love it. I mean these images are just so so sweet that it's hard not to actually make a really nice job of everything really in here. So this was another piece that we glued down, which again, I had intended this for a tag, but I'm now thinking a bit like the other one that I had also intended as a tag, that this actually is quite a nice standalone piece. So just trim it down. Now, let me just have a look. Ah, right, so we've got the other one here, so I don't especially want it there because then I feel like they're very similar pieces on the 
the pages next to each other. So I probably would prefer it either back here or even on this half of the signature. So let's just have a look and see where I'm at with my pieces in this one. Okay, so maybe here. Just kind of having a look. Yeah, maybe here. So just because we obviously have stuck most things at the bottom, might just have a little change here and have something at the top. You know, for no other reason than just adding a little bit of difference, really. Um, now, I have got some of the flowers from the botanical ballroom pages that we've been using. So I'm just going to have a look and see whether any of those might be nice. Mm. I'm not sure. Oops. Right, I just have to quickly show you this because this also I found... Um, just before switching the video on and just thought, love this. This is a stamped image, very old set of stamps that I've got. And I'd stamped it, you know, for card making, haven't used it for all that time. It was just floating around. And I just happened to kind of pop it here. How gorgeous does that look against that page? Just looks so pretty, doesn't it? Against that background paper. And the strangest thing, because by no means when I created this kit did I ever imagine putting something like this on top of the paper. But it really, really looks pretty. So, in fact, what I did wonder about was obviously on this back piece, we've got this big pocket here. So, I wondered about using this page here. And then we could obviously have that umbrella somewhere on there. So let's just have a look. What I might do is just fold that down. Fold it over there. And I'm only doing that to make this easier to work with really. So I'm just going to fold that and then cut it here. And then I'm just going to see how that's going to look if I pop it on here. Yeah, I like that. So let's just go for this because again, I'm really trying not to, not to overthink and get too bogged down with should I or shouldn't I, but instead just, just go for it and not second, ooh, second guess myself and wonder am I... You know, should I be sticking it there? Is this the right thing? Because I think as soon as you start overthinking, actually it all goes wrong. So um, you're better off just getting the thing stuck down instantly before you even have chance to give it another thought. Because the doubts do creep in. And, um, you know, that's very frustrating, obviously, and just then delays the entire process. Right, so I'm going to take that piece. Excuse my my head here. Okay. Right. So I'm just going to now use my card to spread the glue. Like that. Try and get that stretched up there. Okay. So we've got this umbrella, which I just absolutely love. So I definitely want to incorporate the umbrella somewhere. So let's see what else we've got that we can just pop on here. So I've got these super cute kittens, aren't they? Let's have a look. Oh, decisions, decisions. Let me just have a look and see what other images we've still got left in the actual book. Got these. So we are not down to many images. In fact, I'm just going to tear now all of these pages out so that oops, so that everything's out now. 
and then I can see where I am a little bit better. Oops. She says, okay, let me just get rid of this out of the way. Right. So on here we've got, oh, that's quite good because these are higher up than the, the back. We've got this one. Oh, the frog is kind of cute, isn't he? Let's have a look. This. I'm a little bit torn on this one because I love this. I love the colours, but I absolutely love this. This is going to be a tough, tough, tough to decision to make. And actually, now thinking that this one would look really cute on here. Hmm. I wonder how much of this image I can save if I'm very careful. Oh, it's so tough, isn't it? Right, let's let's go for this and just see what we can manage. And try and tear it in very close to the image. So, so that I can save as much as I can of the image on the reverse. And it may be that I'm not really going to manage to save much at all. But let's see. Okay, so I've managed to save this. So I have got this little top bit, potentially, I could potentially make a tag actually just using it like that. So not too bad. So I'm going to now just tear around the remainder of the image here. So cute, it's so cute. <laughs> fiddly because obviously the stem is very very thin so although I've torn leaving it much wider I don't want to um, tear it so we could have that like that and then possibly the umbrella oh yeah that's very cute isn't it and then have a look at the fabric here Oh, that's nice, isn't it? So now I'm just wondering what to do here. So what I could do is, again, just pop in some of the text. So let's, again, just see what we've got here. Right, well, this doesn't matter hugely because they're both... They're both at the top of that page, so okay, right, Let's have that there. Okay, so I'm just going to glue this on here. Now, do I ink this up? I haven't particularly inked up anything in here. I just want to go through and just see how much white I've got showing. Well, I have got white showing on other pages, so I don't need to ink that up, I think. I can just go for that as it is. So I just need to decide where I actually want to pop this. I want it low down or higher up. 
I don't really want to cover up that pink flower because that's very nice, you know, matches really nicely. So just glue that down. Again, I'm just trying to get my glue close-ish to the edge. Okay. Okay. Trying to be very good and remember to put the lid on my glue. Okay. Right. Let's do this. So pop this down like that. Whoops. Ah, cute, cute, cute. And then I love that umbrella. So I'm going to pop the umbrella then on there. Okay. Well, I never thought I would manage to incorporate one of these umbrellas into a junk journal, but it just goes to show, doesn't it? Don't ever write things off assuming that they're not going to be used because you just don't know. You may just find the perfect spot for things. Right, so that's that. Then I'm going to have this here, I think. So first thing I'm going to do is trim this down. So obviously I have an overhang of the paper from the pockets piece. So I'm just trimming that down. And then obviously I have that large text bit. So just trimming that. Okay, throw that in the bin. Gorgeous. Love how that looks. Really, really cute. Okay, now we're going to take this. Now my only thing really is I would have quite liked to have stapled this along here. But I will probably struggle, if I'm truthful, to get my stapler in there. So, you may have to have that flat. Does that matter? I don't think that matters hugely. So, let's, oops, let's pop the glue down. Just run that along the edge. Okay. So, if you're making one of these um, journals using either a golden book or anything else, but just a very basic, simple journal. Um, I hope that you're having fun and enjoying the process. Hope it's turning out something that you really are liking and that you're happy with. I think it's really nice to work with nice colours and um, fun images because it just takes any um, temptation for rules and making things really super neat or super, super perfect, I think it just takes all of that away and you get a little bit more uh, freedom, I suppose, or just um, a feeling of freedom to work the images in a slightly more relaxed way. For me, it just feels that way I don't know whether you guys would agree with that but um, that's how I certainly feel so love how that's coming together so I'm just going to marry that up because obviously it's got those yellow flowers there so I'm just going to pop something over here maybe incorporate a little bit of fabric here so what I might do is just staple this on before I glue this down. Okay. One, two, oh gosh. Ugh. <laughs> okay, glue that piece. Uh, not glue, sorry, staple that piece. And then again, I'm just going to leave a bit of a tail there hanging down. 
and then we can have that over there again do we want that blue flower anywhere on here just going to see whether we want anything down here so let's see what colors we've got of our stamped pieces I have got that purple which we've not used at all but I'm not sure I just wondered whether the purple would pick out these colours of these flowers. So let's just have a look. I'm just actually going to cut this straight in half before I even fuss cut it out because I'm really confident that I'm going to just be using half of it wherever I use it, be in this journal or, or another. So just cut that out. These are very fiddly, I know I have said that before, but they're just not really the best shapes to be cutting out. So, I mean, that looks quite nice, I think, actually. Um, do we need anything pink on here? Let me just cut out one of these tickets. Again, these are... <gasps> I think, again, I'm right in saying crafty individual stamps. Um, pretty sure that they are. I love their stamps. They're gorgeous. So, again, can you see it's got the little kind of nook there? So if you take your crocodile with the small hole, oops, you can just nip into that and then it's like a like a proper ticket like an official ticket which of course you could cut round that but my cutting is um is not as good as to be able to do that so it's just easier to just use the um crocodile i think right now i'm just going to check that i want this this way round and not this way round so oops just i forgot i'd stapled that on there that fabric. <laughs> you just forget what you've done, don't you? Mm, no, I'm going to have it that way around. Right, so this one here, I'm just going to glue this down with my normal regular glue. And again, just a generous help in there. I'll just pop that down here. And then on this side, I don't want obviously that ticket over the kitten, but it is cute. So I maybe would like it like that. So again, I'm just going to take the glue, stick the ticket down. My stomach is rumbling where I'm quite hungry now. So um, I hope you can't hear that, but I apologize if you can. Right, so that's the ticket and the journaling spot. Okay, so I like that blue flower, I think, just on this one here, or do we want it here, actually? Right, might have to have it on this side, I think, so. Right, so that's those, and then obviously this is a pocket, so we just want to make something to pop in here. Now it's not the biggest pocket, because although it's long, this was obviously the bottom of the bag, so it's not the depth of this entire piece, it's only kind of half of it. So again, I've got some more scraps of paper here. I've got a green one perfect colour. Oops. So I'm just going to, again, just cut that down like that. Let me just see whether that tucks in enough. Nope, I need to take it down further. 
because as I say that is not very deep at all so it just needs to tuck in enough so that you can obviously close the book is basically what you know what you're aiming for so I'm just going to cut that like that and then in order to just marry it up with what's going on on the rest of the page I'm just going to have a look now for again some of that botanical ballroom paper which now where have I put that oh my gosh what on earth goes on just have no idea <laughs> right hopefully it's going to just jump out at me in a moment not so far no not so far right that's it under there no 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 right okay I got I have some more luckily to the side but that's completely different coloured flowers right okay move that on the side I've got some other down here right perfect here so I'm going to tear this corner out and I'm just going to glue that down there Glue that one down like that. Oops. And again, might just round the corners just so as it looks a little bit smarter and um, tidier to pop in, in the pocket. So there we go. One, two. There we go. And then what we could do is obviously add something from our stamped pieces that really brings the two parts together. So again, I think what I'm going to do is cut out this postcard. So I mean, as you can see, I have used very basic um, supplies. I haven't used an abundance of stamps. I don't know how many different images I've got here, but certainly not a lot, maybe eight or something. So you don't really need a ton of different things or anything like that. You just need a few really nice pieces, I guess, or, you know, well thought out or versatile pieces that you will be able to use then in a big variety of ways. So maybe something like a journaling spot stamp and again there's tons of different ones out there I don't really know what ones that I would recommend obviously I have a few different ones I <clears throat> I know that Prima Marketing I think do some different ones um, do crafts over here they do some different ones I don't know whether do crafts is available everywhere um, but you know something like these types of things and then maybe some postmarks and maybe some tickets or something like that. So that's another little page completely finished now. And just love how that's turned out. Really simple, but so, so, so pretty. So the journal is really coming together quite nicely now. And we've just got a few more pages left to, to fill in, really. So that was that other piece of paper I was looking for. Um, so uh, that's probably it now for today. But I hope that you're going to join me for the next video where we can work on this a little bit more. So thanks very much for joining me and hopefully see you again soon. Thanks, Em. Bye.